Okay, today I'm going to fit some reverse buzzers to my electric scooter because when the dash is on and you put the the indicator on you can't see it very clearly because the dash is so fogged up so I'm going to put two um, buzzers on now you could just use one buzzer like I did on my Chung Jung and then use a diode um, but on these things here in China are so cheap to buy they cost me um, one yuan and 1.7 yuan so these cost me like 40 cents Australian not even 30 something cents Australian so for 30 cents I will just fit one buzzer to each light um, that will be fine so this is how I'm going to do it so first things first I'll take off this winter cover So these are the two indicators, so I will just put a buzzer in here. So the first thing I need to do is check the voltage. I want to make sure that these are actually somewhere between um, 3 and 24 volts, because this can only be between 3 and 24 volts. And this motorbike is actually, this mo um, scooter is actually a 72 volt scooter. So um, I'm pretty sure that the wiring for lights and everything drops down to low voltage. So let's check it out. So first things first, I'll turn my multimeter on and I'm checking for direct current and I'll set it first at 200 in case it's over 72 volts. I'll put this here, give myself an earth and now I'll put one indicator on. So now it's turned on and one of the indicators is on so this should get a voltage down to 20 volts okay it goes up to nearly 10 volts sometimes yeah nearly 10 volts on the each flash okay so these are these are low voltage
So on both of these, the green is the positive and the light blue and the orange is the negative. Okay. I think it'll be easiest to put these under here and splice in just up here. Actually, I might just plug in my soldering iron. The wires here, the black one is your negative, and then the two coloured ones are the active and on these two here the green is the active on both of them and then the coloured ones are the negative so these buzzers need to be um, set with the positive going to the positive they don't work the other way around so I plug in my soldering iron and my hot glue gun so I'm just going to glue them in the front I get a rag here to give it a bit of a wipe Solder. Some flux. So my green with my active my black was my negative my coloured one, sorry Soldering iron's getting there, I think. Yep. These are only thin wires, so they're easy to solder. That's that. But what I'll do is I'll just plug it in and test it to make sure it works. So this should be good. Right That's pretty easy and then I'll just glue these here. I'll tape them up. It stays nice and neat and dry under this front cover, so I can just use a hot glue gun and glue these in place. So I'll just glue them there. That will do. Any glue on it because it might vibrate a bit, I guess. That's one. Now, I'll do the other one.
Okay. So now that'll sit under like that. Water can't get in there. And now it's just a matter of screwing this back together again. Okay. So I'll just plug this in for a second. Indicators. Cool. So everything fits underneath there. It won't hit anything. Put this back together, and my indicators are done. Okay, works. Cool. So, very easy. Now we've got the two buzzers underneath here, and it will beep. every time you put the indicators on so the reason I'm doing that is just so you don't forget to turn the indicators off so easy job only took what 10-15 minutes or something not too bad at all thanks for watching